Hello everyone, uh, my name is Nebojša Ratković, I'm Education Program Manager at Wikimedia Serbia. Uh, I'm here uh, yeah, to present you some activities we do within our education uh, program. Uh, first I'll start uh, with general context in Serbia. Uh, today we, uh, we face a uh, lack uh, of the harmonization of education with the requirements of scientific and technological development. Um, on the other side we have internet, uh, which is increasingly contributing uh, uh, to the use of different methods and practices uh, that brings, um, uh, that can, uh, we, uh, which can use to improve students' um, initiatives and uh, self-awareness. Uh, so our goal is uh, actually to overcome all those existing, um, existing problems uh, and achieve better quality and more successful education uh, outcome. Uh, and what we do? Uh, we do uh, uh, accredit, uh, accredited seminars for teachers, Wikipedia in Schools project and uh, EduWiki Camp as well. Um, and uh, I'm not sure if many of you um, are familiar fami familiar uh, with uh, accredited seminars for teachers, so I'll talk a little bit uh, about them because I think they are really important. Um, so, uh, Government of Serbia founded the Institute for uh, Development, uh, Professional Development of Teachers, so it's the institute, that institute is a governmental body. They um, give accreditations uh, to those programs they found uh, very important for uh, development, uh, for professional development of um, teachers. Um, by Serbian law, um, every teacher has to collect uh, 24 points per year uh, for um, compulsory professional development. Uh, so we applied three years ago for the first seminar and we got the uh, certificate. Um, we uh, have to renew our certificate every two years. So last year we applied for the new one, we got that one as well. And now we are uh, planning uh, our um, uh, application, making our application for the uh, year 2018. Uh, and hopefully we'll get that certificate as well. Uh, so, um, our seminar is called uh, Application of, uh, of, of uh, Online Wiki Tools as Didactic, uh, didactic Methods in Teaching. Um, and uh, it, um, it, has, uh, it takes uh, eight hours, it's free of charge, and uh, um, it has uh, eight points. Uh, we uh, have uh, like two parts. Uh, first is uh, theoretical, and second one uh, is um, practical. In theoretical part, all teachers uh, have a possibility to learn more about wiki tools, what is uh, what Wikimedia is, uh, what is Wikipedia. Uh, and they also um, learn about some basic principles of wiki projects, and in practical part, they uh, basically write uh, uh, articles. Um, and uh, our main idea was to uh, train teachers on how to be actively involved in the implementation of Wikipedia education program in their institution. And uh, the whole impl uh, implementation of the project is very simple actually. Uh, so first uh, they have a lecture about Wikipedia or Wikimedia and uh, its projects. Uh, then uh, we have a lecture about Wikipedia education program, then we do practical part workshop and at the end uh, we uh, like um, do like brainstorming or we exchange ideas for project impl implementation Wikipedia education project. Um, yeah, and uh, so we, we come up uh, with the cooperation with different schools. Uh, th these seminars are just for uh, uh, primary and secondary schools and all uh, that uh, following time frame in Wikipedia rules. Uh, after that uh, we come with uh, uh, workshops for um, uh, pupils and students. Uh, we usually face these challenges, poor quality of articles. We, we try to overcome uh, this challenge by setting uh, like very strict rules before the workshop starts. Um, the lack of interest and motivation, we try to overcome this uh, challenge uh, by making workshops uh, more interactive. Uh, and monitoring and deadlines, uh, we try to overcome uh, this challenge by um, uh, setting like a, a two or 
three uh, weeks uh, time frame for students and uh, pupils to make articles. So we don't let them for a few months and etc. Um, results. Uh, this year uh, we made this uh, brochure. Uh, about our experience, you can find it uh, on uh, Commons. Uh, I have just two copies here, but I can um, give you tomorrow more if you want. Free, okay. Uh, so uh, you can take this one or you can uh, find it in Commons. Um, here you have like exper our experience with uh, more than uh, 20 institutions since the program started. Uh, five years ago, so this year we celebrate five years of our education program. Um, and uh, we uh, try really hard to decentralize the program. So uh, in Serbia we have a situation that everything happens only in Belgrade capital, uh, but we really uh, try to do workshops and seminars um, in, in like every part of Serbia. Um, we also do at the wiki camp, uh, this year uh, was second um, in one small city in central Serbia and we, we are now planning for the next year at wiki camp as well. Uh, I didn't put here on presentation but we also tried to introduce wiki data uh, in our education program and uh, Wiktionary as well. Uh, so uh, here you have uh, some results for last semester from January to June this year. Um, Within the Wikipedia in Schools project, we um, did like uh, around 800 ar uh, articles on Wikipedia and more than uh, 1,300 edits on Wiktionary. And for the seminars um, with teachers, we, we have uh, around uh, 100, a bit more than 100 uh, articles. Uh, here you have a number of the institutions we, um, that are involved in our program. Uh, you can see it's increasing um, every year, and here I um, here you have just like uh, uh, <laughs> yeah answer for one question for uh, the response of students uh, uh, for the question whether training should be held in the future or not. So uh, more than half of them said always, uh, a bit less uh, they said sometimes, and nobody uh, said never. So that's really <laughs> the result. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and about lessons learned, um, communication it's uh, always the, the main problem I think, so we learned that uh, we should really uh, adapt the communication channels for each faculty uh, as well as workshop because it's not the same communication for example with the students uh, um, of faculty of agriculture or some faculty um, in a small city in Serbia or uh, faculty of political sciences uh, but uh, most of them they prefer Facebook groups so we uh, really use them a lot we have a student uh, group um, we also try to encourage um, uh, professors and to work on their motivation um, beside those certificates we uh, give them for the seminars uh, uh, we also give them some other uh, like uh, certificates or we introduce their stories uh, in things like uh, things like uh, this so they found that really motivating uh, we really try to plan activities well before the project starts uh, within each institution uh, and um, we really try to uh, show students and pupils we believe in their potential that they can really uh, write that uh, article or um, make a change uh, in Wikidata or Wiktionary. Uh, and the uh, really important thing is, is also to react um, uh, fast on their questions, uh, all the things they found difficult, uh, difficult and um, so we really try to imagine ourselves in their positions. So um, we also have some plans. So our next steps would be to expand the idea. Uh, there are a lot of institutions in Serbia we would like to work with. So our plan is to um, to to introduce this program into some other faculties this year and high schools. Uh, we will also continue working on uh, this decentralization of activities. Uh, Wiki Ambassadors is also our activity which encourages peer-to-peer um, uh, cooperation. So we uh, have till now seven 
uh, Wiki Ambassadors from seven faculties. They work with students in those faculties. Uh, they also hold uh, workshops, and we found it really good because uh, students know each other and they uh, know um, they, they they can ask any question that they have. So they don't have to. For sure, Wikimedia service is always there for them, but uh, it's easier for them to communicate with their peers. Uh, we try to um, to have uh, self-managing workshops in the institutions. Uh, we have, uh, uh, I think, two high schools and one faculty where workshops are um, hold. Um, uh, thanks to the professors and assistants and teachers, so uh, sometimes we go there, there to monitor them, but they do uh, workshops on their own, uh, so that's really good practice, and um, we send some uh, surveys to them, they can give us some feedback, and we have meetings with them, but they, um, like the uh, biggest part of the job they do uh, on their own. Uh, and. Um, we will uh, work on the introduction into the curriculum. Uh, this year, uh, for the first time, uh, we had a situation in the Faculty of Political Sciences that uh, uh, we had workshops um, not within the certain uh, faculty subject. Uh, we organized the workshops uh, for the students uh, regardless. Uh, faculty subjects and they came there, we gave them uh, certificates and they got the credits, faculty credits for that like any other subject. It was optionally and we had a group of, uh, I mean, I think almost 30 students uh, who can use that uh, credits for, uh, and they, they will have it in their um, final certificate in, um, Diploma. sorry? Diplomas. Diplomas, yeah. Uh, and uh, I think uh, next uh, school year, uh, the Faculty of Philology will also uh, do the, the same. So, uh, conclusions? Um, yeah, we, um, are, as I already said, uh, try to adapt project to the faculty needs every time it is possible. Um, we uh, really uh, work hard to motivate the professor because it's key for the implementation of the, of the, the project. Um, and we also um, uh, have meetings with um, school staff, so to, uh, we try to create that environment uh, for them to, to receive support from the management of the institutions. Um, and um, we also try to explain that the role of the professor is not only pedagogi pedo uh, pedagogical, but also organizational, because students are not just objects of education, they also form it nowadays. So, thank you for your uh, attention. If you have any questions. Thank you. Uh, hello, one more time. Hello. Uh, so, I want to ask uh, two questions. Yep. So, the first one, how many of people engaged in uh, this educational, I don't know, process? So, I mean, how many people of you are making this course, or I don't know, talking to schools, faculties, and so on? Okay, so uh, in Wikimedia we have only one person, me, <laughs> but we also have, uh, s um, uh, for the seminars, we also have a group of uh, eight, uh, I think, uh, certified lectures, certified lectures. Uh, lectures. Uh, so uh, one of them is here present as well, <laughs> uh, so they also help a lot, we try to have uh, uh, two of us, uh, there and for practical part, uh, we also uh, we usually have like two or three volunteers more, so they can help professors, Wikipedians. But you are something like a coordinator. Or yeah, like education yes. manager. Yeah. Okay, one more question. Yeah. So, uh, do you monitor students or teachers after what you are doing? I mean, for example, uh, students have a course, but after all, they can never edit Wikipedia because. They Usually they do because they have uh, they uh, get some points in their faculty or school for that. Yeah, so they, they or sorry? yeah, but do you monitor their retention? Do yeah, they yeah, yeah. Like do they remain active Wikimedians yeah. a year after not, the course? Not for points. 
Not for points, but do they remain a year after? Do they become say. a Wikipedian? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sometimes, yeah. <laughs> but it's like, like really small number of them. It's yeah. General problem. It happens. Yeah. It's general problem. Thank you. Yeah, you're wrong. Pass it to someone behind you. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, but um, uh, we uh, started to use the dashboard, uh, which uh, was like really good last semester. So we are happy to use to use it like from October as well. So it helps us a lot. I wanted to ask you how many teachers were participating in the certified seminars. Uh, last year, uh, around three hundred, three hundred of them. Because um, all the seminars are limited to uh, 30 people, and we had uh, 10 seminars, so it was around 300 teachers. Uh, you stated uh, in uh, your presentation low quality of the articles. Uh, how many people oversight and uh, improve articles after, uh, after the students uh, create articles on Wikipedia? Uh, we have a uh, few volunteers, Wikipedians, they do that. Uh, I'm also there to uh, like ma make some changes uh, for better quality of articles. Uh, administrators, they also help. Uh, but uh, we have um, a few institutions' assistance, they are also um, prepared to help uh, when needed, so they can do it as well. Um, it's kind of about the accreditation. I don't, I couldn't quite understand what is the link between the accreditation program and the workshops, if that makes sense. Like, do the teachers that you've accredited then go on to have those workshops, or are those kind of separate? Do you see what I'm saying? They're part of the training. They are part of the training, so they can implement the project uh, if, if they want. They don't have to. They don't have to, but usually uh, we they implement at least one, one professor. Okay. Not all of them, because there are 30, but at least one, one of them. We, we have a situation at one um, high school. Um, uh, the management of the, uh, of the school, they, they said that each professor who participated in the seminar had to implement. Right. So we are in the process now. We'll see what, what's going yeah. <laughs> okay. to happen. But, yeah. but this is this top-down approach. Sorry? Yeah, kind of. Top-down top approach. Yes, yes. yes. So I, I wanted to uh, make a comment regarding uh, retention. Uh, when uh, education programs started, retention was an important criteria. But the worldwide experience we have is that actually education programs don't are not successful at retention nowhere in the world. <laughs> so um, a better uh, metric is actually, or a better goal, or a better measure of success for education programs is actually how many people participate in creating contents and how much contents are added to uh, our different projects. And this is where we can measure uh, better success in, uh, in terms of education programs. So uh, le le we have to choose our battles. A retention battle is not a battle that uh, education programs can win, or so far we haven't found it, uh, measured it. Uh, but uh, quality of contents and uh, quantity of contents, that's something that education programs really work on and are successful at. So let's focus on those metrics as one way to measure uh, success. That's uh, one thing. Another thing that I think is very valuable is this idea that the teacher is really uh, the, the customer we are after. Uh, in education programs because uh, when the teacher becomes convinced that this works and that his students or her students are learning better they will do it again and again every year every school year so uh, they are a very critical uh, uh, customer or a critical target for our education programs we really want teachers to have a good time using the tool using the Wikimedia projects mm -hmm. as tools for learning so that they can do it year after year with different groups of students. And that way, it makes, uh, they, they're less dependent on the affiliate support. They can work on their own autonomously year after year. Last question. Um, regarding uh, certificated courses for teachers, did you evaluate it, uh, how many teachers are active after this program? Those uh, who implement uh, the project, they are like, all of them. So uh, this year uh, it was around 10. Uh, 
and um, I don't have uh, like uh, statistics about uh, uh, others, but I'm sure that uh, I know I know uh, like two of them they, they are active, and uh, about others I I really don't know. But I think with dashboard uh, we'll like help it's us to, to monitor <laughs> to yeah. monitor that right. as well. Because I didn't even try to monitor, so it, I really don't have statistics. Thank you. One more question. Oh, thank so thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.